Hey guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys my makeup collection, how I organize them, some of my favorite products from each category, as well as a mini vanity tour over on this side. So yeah, if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. makeup collection. I've had a lot of different iterations of my makeup collection na when it first started growing. So, dati, ang dami ko ng iba-ibang biniling organizer and whatnot. So, noong una, ayoko bumili ng mga acrylic drawer na ganito kasi nga namamahalan ako. So, nagtry ako ng madaming iba-ibang drawers, iba-ibang organizers, and it really just didn't work for me. So, that was around 3 years ago na, and I just got this this year, and Kaya ako gumagawa ng makeup collection video ngayon is because this is actually the perfect size for me. The the way that I organize it na ngayon, yung mga laman nito, nakailang declutter na din ako. So a lot of the products in this collection, ito talaga yung tried and tested na mga favorites ko. This ladder shelf, I just got this on Amazon. And binili ko siya as I think 3 years ago na. It's sturdy enough and actually yung width niya is perfect for like this side of my vanity para i-store yung um, para i-store nga yung makeup ko tapos yung mga acrylic organizer meron siyang little space on the side para makapaglagay ako ng something else or you can leave it as it is para meron kang onting space so starting off with the top shelf I have lang a Kevin Aquan book Making Faces I'm gonna be honest hindi ko pa na babasa yung book na yan but I need to get into like reading that book because it talks about the basics of makeup I don't really have like a formal education or make on makeup a lot of what I've learned lang is from trial and error on my face and that's usually what I talk about in my videos kanyan but I'm trying to get into reading about makeup and learning from experts talaga. So I just have that and then I have this container right here that holds my Maybelline lipsticks. Maybelline is one of my favorite brands when it comes to lipsticks just because they're so affordable and their shades are on point. They have a lot of different shades and there's one here na, na, na naliligaw. This is from Colourpop. This is the Colourpop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Layover. Favorite everyday lipstick ko rin to. And I just love the detailing on this lipstick. Yung meron siyang parang nakadebose na stars on the sides of the bullet lipstick itself. I really love this lipstick pero hindi ko siya laging ginagamit lalo na when it comes to my videos because Colourpop I, I think it ships to the Philippines pero hindi siya, you can't buy it over the counter. So when it comes to my videos I'm really trying my best na whenever I use makeup for tutorials, ganyan, or whenever I men mention makeup, na readily available nyo siya mabibili sa mga um, boutiques out there. And then, on this side naman, I have lang yung boxes nung Sunny's Face nude-ish collection. Sobrang cute lang kasi nung packaging niya, and it was like a nice decor. So, whenever you place something on, like a shelf, ganyan, rule of third, so one, two, three, Ito, hindi kasali kasi nasa background naman yan. Ay, nahulog. Tapos ito, parang binili ko siya for flat lace lang. So, bumili lang ako ng parang vase. Tapos nilagay ko lang itong mga styro glitter, glitter balls. Tapos, it went in naman with the color story of the entire first row or first shelf right here. Now, let's go down to the second shelf. So, medyo naka-yuko na ako. So, here naman sa second shelf, meron lang, like I said, meron kasing space sa side. This is the book Insta Style. That's where I usually get a lot of my inspiration when it comes to like flat lace, ganyan. I have my handheld mirrors then. This one is from Happy Skin. Tapos ito from Sunny's Face. Medyo heavy to. Tapos medyo maliit lang siya. Pero okay naman pag nagmi-makeup ako on camera. At least hindi masyado natatakpan yung face ko. Tapos ito maganda pag nagmi-makeup because yung isang side niya is magnified. Tapos okay din siya for traveling because this one naman stands on its own. I just keep my handheld mirrors there. Tapos up top, I have my Anastasia eyeshadow palettes and one Too Faced na gingerbread spice. Hindi ko to din yung clutter kasi ito lang yung Too Faced ko na eyeshadow palette. And maganda naman yung colors niya. It's very wearable. Tapos there's pops of colors as well. Maganda yung formula nito. Tsaka, 
ang bango, nakakagutom. Parang gusto ko ng chocolate whenever I smell that. And then, favorite eyeshadow palettes. Anastasia, I have the Sultry, Soft Glam, and the Modern Renaissance. So, Sultry is your browns na medyo cool tone. And then, I have yung Soft Glam. Ito yung parang warmer pinks and oranges. Super favorite ko tong Soft Glam. If I could only keep one, probably Soft Glam yung ikikip ko. And then, yung first Anastasia palette ko, Modern Renaissance. Actually, favorite ko din to. Pero ito naman, mas romantic yung look niya. Tsaka, mas, mas pang nighttime. Yung soft glam kasi, magagamit mo siya for daytime looks. So, yeah. Love ko yung tatlong yan. And, Anastasia na lang yata yung na-keep ko na palettes na sobrang hindi ko siya ilalet ko. And then, here, on this side, I have my speaker. This is from the brand Anchor. My boyfriend got it from me. Binili niya lang to sa Amazon. It's like a dupe for the JBL speakers. It's also, like, splash-proof. So, pwede mo siya gamitin. Splash proof nga ba to? From what I remember, oo. Oh, oh, eh. So, maganda rin yung sound quality niya. It's very comparable ka to the JBL. And then, the first drawer here. Itong acrylic drawers ko, binili ko from Ulta. I think $45 isa. Pero if you're from the Philippines, kay Miss Bella PH, madami siyang similar na acrylic drawers na ganito. Nung una, ayoko bumili. Pero nung nakita ko to, sabi ko, sige na. Para ma-finalize ko na yung the way I organize my makeup. But anyway, the top drawer is a little bit thin. And it holds my Happy Skin Lippy. So, I have yung Lip Mallow collection ko, yung Heart and Happy Skin. I have one MLBB lipstick from Catherine Bernardo's collaboration. And then, I have yung Cooling Lip Gloss. Happy Skin Kiss and Bloom Lip Tint. And then, itong Honeymoon Glow. If I have to choose one, ang favorite ko dito is the combination of this Happy Skin and Love Marie Vivid Cotton Lip Mousse and My Story. Tapos, tinatop off ko siya with the Cooling Lip Gloss in the shade Missy. Missy ba to? Yeah, I think this is Missy. It doesn't say the shade pala dun sa pinaka-container niya. But alam ko miss ito. So, favorite combination ko yan, lalo na for everyday. Ito lang yung lip gloss na natry ko na hindi siya tacky on your lips and super lightweight niya. So yeah, love these. And love ko din yung lip mallow. Pero ito talaga yung favorite combination ko. And then, here we have the second drawer. So yung second drawer ko, on this side is my Maybelline lipstick. So I'll have a lot of the Superstay Matte Ink Crayon kasi nag-swatch ako niyan. Some of these um, sens sensational liquid matte lip tints. Nasabi nila lip tint, pero parang matte lipstick naman. <laughs> and then I have some lip liners from Wet n Wild. And then on this side, I have my Sunny's Face Lippies. I have the original fluff mats from the first collection. The newer fluff mats. Ito yung nude-ish. I just posted a swatch video of that. And then I also have their lip dips, which is yung parang lip, parang lip mallow ng Sunny's Face. So, nauna sila lumabas niyan with their lip dips. Mas lightweight yung lip mallow kesa sa lip dip, pero mas strong and mas vivid yung colors ng lip dip. So, those are some of my lipsticks. Dati, hindi ako mahilig mag-collect ng lipsticks. Ang kinokollect ko talaga is eyeshadow palettes. Pero, I realized na, so, as I age, napapansin ko, hindi ako masyadong nag-eyeshadow na. And, a lot of times, yung pop of color ko na lang is sa lips. So, kaya ako na, kaya ako na pag interesan yung mga lips Sticks. Kaya, dumami din yung collection ko and sa mga videos ko, mas madami na akong mga lip swatches ngayon kaysa mga eyeshadow palette reviews. Kasi nga, napansin ko, pagdating sa eyeshadow palette, kunyari, nakahanap na ako ng okay, I love these colors, I love the formula, wala siya masyadong fallout, okay na yun, but pa ako hahanap ng iba? And, mas lag araw-araw ko ginagamit yung lipstick. So, yun, nakolek ko tuloy yung lipstick. Lipsticks. But anyway, third drawer na tayo. I have the Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte na naman. Ito talaga yung true matte yata nila. I bought these kasi nagka-promo nagka -promo sila sa Shopee. Tapos sabi ko, okay, since may promo na promo naman siya, nabili ko lahat yata ng shades for only 2,000 pesos. Sabi ko, gagawin ko siya ng video. So, I need to film that pa. To be honest, hindi ko favorite yung formula niya. It's a liquid matte lipstick. So, medyo heavy and drying siya on my lips. Pero kung mahilig ka sa liquid lips, liquid lips, yeah, liquid matte lipsticks, perfecto. And then I have some of the L'Oreal na parang water lip tint. Sobrang ganda ng formula nito. Dapat ito yung binili ko lahat ng shades kasi favorite ko talaga to. Tsaka, sobrang unique nung applicator niya. It's very similar dun sa applicator ng Jeffree Star na concealer. So, para siyang, um, nakikita niyo ba yung yung shape niya. Ito lang, hindi butas yung gitna niya. Pero, ang ganda nung applicator niya. Ang dali mag-apply sa lips. Tapos, super lightweight nito. And, it really leaves a nice tint on your lips. And then, one of my favorite lippies din is so, it, itong Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick. Kasi, hindi siya super heavy compared to the other liquid matte lipsticks ni Maybelline. 
And I love this shade as well. This is in the shade Seductress. Tapos on this side naman, I have random lippies. I have like Colourpop and Villains collection. Ito yata yung Hades. Oo, kasi ang hirap, ang hirap. Ito yung Hades. Ayan, medyo nude peach lang siya for everyday makeup. And then I have some lip gloss, Dominique Cosmetics. Ito yung Fenty Beauty na Diamond Lip Bo Lip Diamond Gloss Diamond Milk Lip Gloss So favorite ko din to, yun nga lang Ang yucky ng itsura niya kasi nagbimix na yung Siyempre yung color sa lips ko So what I usually do kasi is I layer this one On top of my current on top of my current lipstick So ayun, naguhalo na yung color sa loob So medyo yucky na siya So favorite ko din yan na lip gloss Aside from the Happy Skin and Love Marie Kasi na lip gloss, medyo may tint siya na medyo mauve Ito mas clear siya So kahit anong lipstick ko, tinatop off ko with this one and it works perfectly fine. Tapos I have then the Kylie Cosmetics na Coco K lip Coco ba to? Clo, Clo Dollar. Clo Dollar na lip na lippy. Favorite ko yung Kylie Cosmetics dati nang wala pa akong alam sa makeup kasi ang for me lang nung time na yon. Okay, hindi ko na kailangan mag-reapply pero sobrang drying niya sa lips. Parang kailangan ko na umupo, guys. Okay, next drawer. Ito yung bottom drawer. So pinaka makapal siya compared sa lahat. So, dito ko naman nilalagay lahat ng blushers and highlighters ko. So, on this side, I have cream and liquid blushes. Dito naman is your powder, blushes, and highlighters. So, single blushes lang to kasi meron ako mga blush palettes na nasa next level nung shelf ko. But anyway, here I have highlighters. I love yung ito, Maybelline Master Chrome. Super love ko to dati kasi sobrang pack boom highlight talaga siya na makikita mo sa skin mo. Pero wala siyang glitter so, so it doesn't accentuate any texture. Really dewy and radiant siya. Super ganda. Pero pag tinignan ka, alam nilang naka-highlight ka. So for something more subtle, I really love the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder as well. Pero my holy grail na highlighter is yung Anastasia Beverly Hills na Amrezy Highlighter. Kahit anong look ko, ginagamit ko to. Sobrang universal niya. Ay! Oh my gosh! Na nahawakan ko siya tuloy. But sobrang universal nito. The only problem is limited edition to. So pag ginagamit ko siya sa videos ko, hindi ko naman malink yung product because nga, limited edition siya and wala na yata siya right now. So ayun. Tapos when it comes to blush naman, favorite ko drugstore, Milani Berry Amore. Super nice, pigmented, pero very natural siya. And also yung Burt's Bees na Toasted Cinnamon. Si Kathleen Lights yung nagpabili sa kanito. I've had this for two years to yata. Pero gumagana pa rin siya. Favorite ko to for everyday looks. Natural, neutral. Kasi mo more on the orange-brown color siya. And then on this side, like I said, I have my liquid blushes and some cream blushes. I have Sunny's Face. Yung mga color play ko. Glo um, ano ba to? Blush Bomb from Flower Beauty. I love this as well. Pero hindi ko masyadong ginagamit sa videos. Kasi wala naman yata ang Flower Beauty sa Philippines. And then I have yung mga... Mga contour stick and highlighter stick. Ayan. Tapos, I have this one NARS liquid blush. Actually, expired na siya. As you can see, nagsa-separate na. Pero, gusto ko lang siya for display. So, sayang naman, diba? Tsaka maganda yung packaging niya. So, kinip ko na lang siya dyan. Nagustuhan ko nga. Nagustuhan ko siya before, nung ginamit ko. Pero, hindi ko lang talaga siya naubos kasi ang dami kong ibang blushes. So, nandito na tayo sa third layer nung shelf ko. Um, here up top, I have lang, pinatong ko lang dito is a palette organizer. Nabili ko lang dito sa Amazon. <laughs> hindi siya super, as in, nag, minsan nahuhulog yung palettes ko sa likod kasi hindi siya like tight. Pero okay siya at least, hindi natutumba yung palettes ko. And medyo may space siya in between. So, madali lang kumuha and kumuha and magsolid ng palette. So, here I have my Huda Beauty na Obsessions palettes. I have yung una nilang yung una nilang version. This is the Mob Obsessions. Ito yung pink na palette. I love this as well. Pero, ang kulang dito is transition shade. And whenever I use this, parang feeling ko may pink eye yung itsura ko. And then, pero love ko yung ito. Itong pink na shimmer. Sana nagpa-focus siya, ba? I'm not sure if you guys can see that. They won't focus. But anyway, ito hindi ko sinasadyang bilhin. Ito yung Nude Obsessions na man in the shade Medium. And ayan, very neutral lang siya. Yung ate ko yung bumili nito. Tapos nag-change yung mind niya. Ayaw niya na daw. Tapos gusto niya isoli ko sa downtown. And ayaw ko na pumunta ng downtown. So sabi ko, sige, keep ko na lang yan. Pero hindi ko siya masyadong gusto. Punta siya pang travel. Siguro papamigay ko na lang when I go to the Philippines. Wala kasi ako mapamigayan ng makeup dito kasi... 
Wala mo akong pinsan dito. And then I have the Violet Boss Creme Brulee, Creme Brulee palette kasi nga nahilig ako sa maliliit na palette para hindi na ako madaming iniisip. Tapos perfect din siya for traveling. Hindi siya super bulky and magaan lang. Um, what else do I have here? I have the Elf Modern Metals palette. And then ito, Desi and Katie Frankation palette. I don't really use this that much, pero maganda yung colors niya. And para pag gusto ko ng pop of color, meron ako dito ng mga blue na shimmer-shimmer na ganyan. Then here I have my highlighting palette. This is from Flower Beauty. Maganda rin to kasi yung formula kasi nito parang shimmer lang talaga siya. Sobrang, sorry, hindi mag, ayaw mag-focus. And then here I have blush. I have yung Tarte. This was from a holiday collection two years ago. Ah, sa akin pa rin. Favorite ko to kasi ang ganda ng packaging niya. Pero medyo mabigat so I wouldn't recommend it for traveling. Itong Jewel Way, medyo mabigat lang din. Bago lang to, kasi gusto ko matry yung formula nila. Holy grail to ng lahat. Nice neutral blush. Medyo mabigat din yung packaging niya, pero at least locks yung feeling. Ito, favorite blush palette ko. Holiday 2019? 19 ba to? Or 18? I can't remember. So, kung 18, kung 18 to, to the holiday 2017 to, guys. So, medyo luma na. Ito, holiday 2018 yata. Favorite ko to, kasi meron siyang warm peachy blush, pink, tapos neutral na pink. So, yung shades niya is Luster, Orgasm, and Amore. And, ang kakaiba nung packaging niya, may texture siya. So, mukha talagang pinaghirapan. Sobrang minsan, napapabili ako ng makeup because ang ganda ng packaging. Pero, like I said, kaka-declutter ko lang. And, nag Sephora sale nga, today, Pero yung mga binili ko, puro skincare lang kasi ayoko na ng madaming makeup. Okay na ako kung anong meron dito. Tapos sa side na to, meron ako mga iba pang palette. Yung mga palette ko, nakakalat-kalat lang kasi hindi siya kasha dun sa drawer. The one I have here is Tevion. Hindi pa ako nakakatry ng Tevion pero parang favorite to ni um, Love Marie. Wow, Love Marie. So, ayan. Big gift lang to sa akin ni Ate Sam. Wala akong ibang palette na may colors na ganyan. So, I decided to keep it. I haven't really tried it. So, gusto ko matry itong purple na to. Parang ang ganda niya. Ang whimsical ng color niya. Ayan. Kita niyo ba? I have the Adeline Morin na palette. This is her collaboration with Tarte. I love the colors here. It's very Filipina friendly. Yung Morena skin tone friendly. And I think that's also because half Filipina siya, si Adeline Morin. So, usually pag may mga Filipino YouTubers, tapos may collaboration sila with makeup like Bretman Rock, ganyan. Ayan, may Morphe and Bretman Rock ako. Adeline Morin, sino pa bang binilahan ko? Um, bumili din ako dati nung kay Melissa Michelle. Kasi to support lang. And si Heart Defensor, meron din ako nun dito, yung Coffee and Cream Highlighter. Morphe. And then, here I have one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is from Dominic Cosmetics. It, this is the Lotte palette. Favorite ko din to. Ang ganda nung shimmers niya. As you can see, gamit na gamit yung shimmer na to. Tapos yung mattes niya, very pigmented and blendable. Tapos ito yung palette na, na, na nagamit ko na wala talagang fallout at all. Kaso, sorry, ayusin natin yung lighting. Kaso, hindi ko to magamit masyado sa videos kasi nga, hindi siya readily available sa Philippines. Okay, here we have some liquid eyeshadows. So, I have liquid eyeshadows, like eyeshadow singles, some eyeliners, may mga color, eye, colored eyeliners ako dyan. These are for mostly fun looks. Tapos, yung primer ko na lang ngayon is itong Essence I Love Stage because super mura niya, parang $4 lang siya. So, 200 pesos and gumagana naman siya. Yun nga lang yung shelf life niya, 6 months lang. Tapos, ito, bago kong favorite, Generation Happy Skin Pretty Eyes Liquid everyday eyeshadow for everyday use talaga siya. Super easy niyang gamitin. Here we have my favorite brow products and mascara. So sorry ah guys baka yung pag pinapanood niyo ako nakatingin ako sa viewfinder kasi tinitingnan ko kung nasa frame pa ba ako. Hindi kasi ako sanay na ganito ako mag-film na pagalaw-galaw. But anyway here I have my mascara. I have my lash curler. Tapos ito nabili ko to sa Amazon. So para siyang curling iron for your lashes. So, umiinit siya. Medyo nakakatakot, guys. Pero, effective naman siya. Hindi ko siya ginagamit araw-araw pag may special occasion lang. So, alam niya na yung favorite mascara ko. Heroin Make. And then, for brows, I have a lot of Benefit eyebrow products. And that's because, usually, parang two years, two consecutive years, bumili ako nung brow kit nila. So, naipon yung mga brow products ko. Pero, other than that, I have Sunny's Face. Favorite ko din to. Um, I even have Happy Skin. Very pigmented na to. I'm very vivid. Um, um, what else? So, so, when it comes to brow products, ang favorite ko is precisely my brow. Medyo mabilis siya maubos. So, makeup brow din ako kasi very pigmented siya. Pero, ang, it will last forever. 
So here I have face products. Okay, so the way that I divide this up is foundation, liquid foundations and concealers, tinted moisturizers, ganyan, magkakasama siya, or tinted sunscreen, tapos high-end and affordable. So for high-end, favorite ko is Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Dewy Foundation because I have dry skin nga, so gusto ko yung may radiant natural finish. Favorite ko din tong It Cosmetics sa CC Cream, but recently na pansin ko, nagbe-breakout ako kasi medyo may fragrance to. Pero yan lang yata yung product na may fragrance na nagbe-breakout ako. Medyo strong kasi yung fragrance nun. Pero favorite ko yun pag tinatamad ako kasi hindi ko na kailangan mag-sunscreen or, or, or moisturizer. Ito na lang. Hindi ko na rin kailangan mag-concealer kasi sobrang okay nung coverage nito. Tapos when it comes to concealer, meron akong Jouay na concealer. Nandun kasi siya kasi if film ko siya for my favorites video. Pero yun, favorite ko din yun. Tapos, ito naman sa affordable side. Love this Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. I just filmed a review video on this. And ang ganda nito for everyday, guys. So, if you can get your hands on that, definitely try that. Tapos, itong Juvia's Place na liquid foundation. Very comparable siya sa ST Double Wear. ST Double Wear na foundation. Pero, it's half the price. Tapos, meron din akong foundation stick version ng Juvia's Place. Some concealers, wet and wild. Ito, favorite ko to, Bella Tinted Sunscreen. Ang, ang tagal din ng shelf life nito, 2 years. So, May 2021 pa siya mag-expire, guys. May isang taon pa siya sa akin. Sa pinaka-bottom drawer, I have setting powders, primers, and some bronzers. Yung bronzers ko, onti lang because when I find the right shade of bronzer, I don't try something else na because why? Eh, isa lang naman yan. Basta matte na bronzer, tas yung shade niya is perfect for my skin. Okay. So, yung all-time favorite ko is the Hula Bronzer. I also love this Fenty Beauty one. Ang ganda ng packaging niya. This is the shade Island Thing. Tapos, meron akong very affordable one, Vice Cosmetics. Tapos, I have some primers right here. My all-time favorite, Becca Backlight Primer or First Light Primer. Pareho yan, favorite ko. Tapos, ito din, super affordable, Elf Poreless Potty Primer. Favorite ko to for my nose area. It fills in the pores. Tapos, nasa-smooth out niya lang talaga siya. So, super ganda and favorite ko yan. And then, sa powders naman, loose powder, all-time favorite ko, Too Faced Born This Way for setting my under eyes and my forehead and my nose. Pero sa cheek area, favorite ko is yung Maybelline Fit Me kasi hindi siya super bright tapos medyo may shade siya and it's very affordable. $5 lang bili ko dito sa mga 300 pesos siguro. Pero recently I've been trying out this Glossy Wowder. Maganda rin siya pero like I said, online nyo lang siya mabibili. Powder foundation naman, Benefit Hello Happy. Hands down. Meron din akong Vice Cosmetics na powder foundation. Hindi ko masyadong gusto to. Medyo nagbubuo-buo yung formula niya. If you're looking for a more affordable alternative, kung gusto niya ng may coverage, Jcat Beauty Aqua Assurance Powder Foundation. For dry skin, sobrang lifesaver nun kasi hindi siya nakakadry. It's very hydrating. Tapos maganda yung finish niya. And usually pag ginagamit ko yun, hindi ko na rin kailangan mag-concealer. Pero if you want something more sheer coverage, go for the Generation Happy Skin one. Yun naman, I keep that in my purse kaya wala siya dito. Okay, sa last na tayo, I won't bring you guys down na kasi sobrang baba na nung shelf na to. But basically, this is also where I keep a lot of my travel essentials. Ayan, so yung pouch ko. Sorry, hindi nyo pala ako kita. Yung beauty blender case nandito din sa shelf na to. So I have two palettes right here. This one is one of my favorites, Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow. Giant mirror, yay! Tapos ang ganda kasi itong nasa taas na products or cream products. Cream highlight, contour, and glow. Tapos, meron siyang... Oh, ang social. Meron siyang takip para yung powder hindi mapupunta dun sa cream. But anyway, I like their Japanese pressed powder. I usually set my under eyes with this. Sometimes, I use it all over my face as well. Contour powder is perfect then Yung hindi ko lang masyado nagagamit dito is highlight. Kasi recently, hindi ako masyado nag-highlight ng face. Kasi nagsisetting spray na lang ako na dewy. So, love this as well. And then, yung Totti Beauty na palette ko. Ito na lang yata yung palette na tinago ko na full size. Because mas neutral yung colors nito compared to yung dati meron akong Jacqueline Hill and Morphe collaboration tsaka James Charles. Pero sobrang colorful nun na parang for me, unrealistic. Hindi ko naman siya magagamit for everyday. Ito, a lot of neutrals lang talaga. Tapos may glitter, may shimmer, may metallic. So, mas user-friendly to. So, kinip ko to. Kaso, hindi ko rin siya magawan masyado ng videos. Kasi nga, hindi siya avail readily available in the Philippines. So, yung top drawer nito, walang laman. Because, usually, ginagamit ko lang to. Kunyari, mag-film ako ng video. Dito ko nilalagay yung mga products. Tapos, dinadala ko sa may bed ko. Kasi, doon ako nag-film ng videos. And then, the next drawer, I have a lot of my sponges. 
I love Beauty Blender, pero favorite ko din mag-try out ang mga more affordable ones. One of my favorites is yung Anakai Air Blender Sponge. This is very similar to the Wet n Wild Sponge na wala dito ngayon kasi kaka use up ko lang nung isa. Like, sobrang beaten up niya na. Tapos, tinry ko din yung microfiber ni Real Techniques. Maganda siya, pero I wouldn't recommend it for the under eye area kasi medyo chunky yung tip niya. So, mahira. Medyo lumalagpas siya. So, mas gusto ko yung diamond sponge ni Real Techniques because I like that thin tip. Sobrang easy niya lang para sa mga hard to reach areas. And then, on this side naman, I have yung face and body sponge ni Real Techniques. Sobrang laki niya, guys. Kung nagmamadali kayo, isang ganun lang. Tapos, I also have yung Totti Beauty na um, blendiful. Tapos, mga travel brushes. Diyan ko siya nilalagay. Kailangan kong nahugasan to. Kasi, di ko naman siya ginagamit for everyday. I usually bring that whenever I travel. Pag mga overnight trips lang, ganyan. I have a powder brush, a blush. Ah, hindi. Ito pala yung blush brush. Ano ba to? multitasking brush yung pang foundation yata. Tapos may pang highlight din ako. So, real techniques yon Okay, so, second to the last na drawer is my travel makeup. So, I have yung hourglass palette ko. Favorite ko yan kasi meron na siyang pressed powder, meron siyang bronzer, meron siyang highlighter, may blush siya. So, perfect for traveling. Tapos, ka-partner niyan is yung hourglass foundation stick. Love ko talaga yan. So, the brush that I use for blending in my concealer and foundation when I'm on a trip is this It Cosmetics na dual-ended brush. Sobrang favorite ko din yan. And then, a lot of travel size lang of my favorite products like the Becca First Light Primer. Meron din akong Benefit Hello Happy. Sobrang nagustuhan ko kasi yan. Ayan, concealer. Tapos, sobrang favorite ko yung Too Faced Born This Way concealer. So, bumili ako ng travel size para for traveling. And like I said, Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, I also have yung Shade and Light pa na contour powder for traveling. Yung eyeshadow palette na nilagay ko dito is yung Natasha Denona kasi maliit lang siya. It's very compact and I can create two different looks with this palette. May neutral, pero din ako mag-pop ng color, ganyan. So, yun yun nandiyan. I also have like a travel size version of the Laneige lip mask because I cannot live without that. Okay, so last drawer na. So here I have all of my setting sprays. High-end setting sprays. Love, love, love the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. This is what I use at the end of my entire makeup routine to make sure that it holds up and it stays in place. I only use this pag may special events like graduation. Basta special occasions, wedding, ganyan. Pero for everyday, I don't really use it. What I use is mga setting sprays lang to melt my makeup on my skin. Yung mga powders, ganyan. So, yung mga Anastasia Dewey Set Mist. Itong Tatcha Luminous Dewey Mist. Maganda siya, pero guys, masyado siya mahal for what it is. Feeling ko lahat ng binayad ko nasa packaging. Comes in a glass bottle, so super luxe talaga niya. Pero okay na ako dito kay Anastasia Dewey Mist. Tapos, favorite ko, of course, mga wet and wild photo focus na 3-in-1 primer setting spray. And then, love ko din for all day wear is the Milani Make It Last. And then, I also have the Catrice Prime and Fine na I need to shake kasi parang naghihiwalay na yung product niya. Hindi ko masyadong ginagamit kasi mas favorite ko pa rin tong si Wet n Wild. And then of course, I have my Morphe setting spray. This is, I think, my third bottle na I love this kasi continuous setting spray siya. Ayan, sobrang mist talaga siya and walang water droplets on my face whenever I use this. So, I love this too. Kunyari, pag may special occasion makeup ako na ginagawa, this is what I use to set my makeup. And then, ito top off ko siya with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Tapos, sobrang at the end of the day, yung makeup ko, ganun pa rin yung itsura. Sobrang love ko yung look na yun. And then, sa pinaka-bottom, I just have this bin. And it's where I keep a lot of my mga tela for mga flat lace, ganyan. And yung mga lights ko, pag hindi ko siya ginagamit, dyan ko lang siya nilalagay. Okay, so, yun na lahat ng makeup ko on this shelf. Tapos, let's go over to the vanity area naman. Okay, so, this is my vanity area naman. So, yung table ko lang is from Amazon. And yung doon, meron ako mga boxes na kailangan ko na itapon na iwan siya dyan. Then I have my trash can also from, no, that's from Target. My chair is also from Amazon. It's a fake ghost chair kasi nabasa ko kapag maliit lang yung space mo, maganda yung mga transparent na chairs na ganyan. But anyway, on my vanity, I usually keep my laptop here. I keep it clear para pwede ako magsulat dyan. So it doubles as my writing desk or my working desk na din. And then over here, I have lang this dish that I got from Francesca. Tapos it has a lot of my clips na I got from Amazon. But these are actually available in the Philippines sa Jokaikai at iba pa. Ayan, nakita ko rin siya doon. Tapos here, so here I just have this little 
Louis Vuitton box. Tapos, I keep, I need two hands to open this, but I keep a lot of my other clips in there. And then on the right hand side, I just have my Way leave in conditioner, and then this rose water mist para lang to refresh my face whenever I'm here. Tapos, gusto ko lang refresh yung face ko. And then I have my AirPods in a cute Coco Chanel case. Then I have my mirror. And here is my vanity mirror. So, yung vanity mirror ko, wala talaga yung lights. Nabili ko lang to sa Amazon. Super cheap. $20, $23. And ayan, so... May Hollywood lights na siya, di ba? Tapos, it has three settings din. Pwede cool, pwede natural, tapos pwede rin warm. Tapos, pwede mo rin i-tone down yung brightness niya. So, perfect. Pero, yun, off na, off na natin yan kasi hindi naman masyadong kita kasi maliwanag pa. But anyway, on the right hand side, I have my brushes. Yung holders ko, nabili ko lang din sa Amazon yan. Pero, mabibili nyo yan sa Miss Bella PH. Have a lot of my face brushes right here. And then, I have a lot of eye brushes. And, yeah, those are all eye brushes actually. And then down here, I have like this earrings hold, like jewelry holder. So it just holds a lot of my studs. And then under that, I have this Becca palette na nabili ko pa siya like two years ago. The only reason why I keep this is sobrang favorite ko yung shimmer shade na to for the inner corners of my eyes. So I still keep that. It's good pa naman. Hindi pa naman yata siya expired. So just keep that right there. And then over here, huwag nyo nalang pansinin yung kalat doon kasi that's usually where I place mga makeup na I need to film. But here I have my everyday like skincare caddy. <laughs> Um, I have my Tatcha water cream as my moisturizer. I have this deodorant, lip balm, my everyday sunscreen. Love this happy skin, catch the sun. And then, pag hindi naman ako lalabas and hindi ko kailang mag sunscreen, I just use this Celitec Advanced Anti Aging, Anti Wrinkle Facial Moisturizer. It has SPF. SPF 15. So, pag nasa bahay lang ako, pwede na yan for me. Ikaw siya malagay. Ang hirap, guys. Oh, and then, I have this um, I Do Care Bright Side Up Vitamin vitamin C Serum. Hindi siya as strong as the Drunk Elephant one, pero pwede na siya. I'm looking into something else, pero ayan. And then, right below that, I have this butt cream na ginagamit ni Kim Kardashian para pantanggal ng cellulites. And then, under that, I have more of those Louis Vuitton boxes na I reused as like little drawers for my jewelry. This desk has a drawer. It doesn't pull as far. Pero here, I just have some random stuff like things for lashes, some oral... What's this? Um, floss. Ayan, ito random lang. Tapos, I have my lighter for my candle. Tapos, I have a lot of these perfume samples na I need to start using kasi naipon na lang siya dyan. And then, my Soul Bum Bum Cream Lotion. Back up ng sunscreen. My hair tie. Um, dry shampoo and comb. So yeah. Okay you guys, so that is my entire makeup collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you for watching!